let's get rich. What? The GK Vance and Sugar Dance can't quit. What? Now pop the cork and see the Vega and get lit. What? 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 Introducing Phantom of. Hello. What's up? Um, this is fun. <coughs> Sorry. This is fun episode three. The f first one was a Barrett, and the last one was that Search and Destroy Ace I got with the the thermal LMG, the L86. Yep. But this one, this one's tight. I like this one. I'm playing with a bunch of randoms, and this is actually one of the recommended classes by White Gangster, I'm pretty sure. White Gangster, did you make this class? Pretty sure you did. Um, if you didn't, I'm gonna have to redo this commentary. God damn, I hope you did. All right. Anyways, um, this game I'm not playing extremely, um, cap capping flags and stuff. I'm just trying to get a lot of kills because I know that's what you guys mainly want to see. And when I'm with a bunch of randoms, I don't care too much if I win or lose, as long as I did like my part. Because if this, if I was playing with my friends, we wouldn't have lost. That's for sure. And this is just a regular domination. I tried playing some uh, some ground war, and it just it just didn't work out with this class. I don't know why it's like too many people at once. You get shot from the back like all the time. So yeah, I'm just gonna stick to normal domination. Pretty much all my sets gonna be normal domination. I'll sprinkle in some team death matches and and search and destroys and stuff like that. Hold on, just close the mic. Yeah, there you go. All right, and um. Because, like, last night, we were playing Search and Destroy for a little while, but we got kind of bored. And then me and my friends decided that we wanted to play, or at least one of my friends, Keeper of Souls, he really wanted to play Team Deathmatch, like, really badly, so we started playing Team Deathmatch. And then we are playing all night, and we just decided that we'd get off once we lost, because we're on a pretty decent win streak. Um, when we checked, we're on a pretty decent win streak, and like, you know, let's just keep this going. We don't want to end it before we can make it the most it could be so we were we we're doing pretty good with that win streak and then um and we just thought we weren't losing like we're like all right when we lose we'll get off when we lose we'll get off and we just we we're on to like eight in the morning yeah we played all night till like i got on at one o'clock because i was doing some stuff so i guess i got on like kind of late because me and my friends usually play like all night anyways but never till 8 that's that's unnecessary it's too crazy right there so yeah we were playing till 8 because we just hadn't lose and then eventually everyone kind of backed out all my friends kind of went to bed until it was just me and Keeper of Souls left and then we eventually lost because our team was a bunch of fucking noobs but um my my new win streak is 51 so I'm pretty proud of that I know I don't I don't have seen anyone higher than that I've heard of people's attire, but I've never seen. There's no one on my friends list, or I've never seen one on someone else's friends list with over 51. So I'm a very accomplished Call of Duty player now. Thank you. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. But um, <clears throat> yeah, this class is pretty fun. I've always liked Akimbo's. I wouldn't really do it this way. Um, with the with the um, what do you call that thing? The bling. I don't like bling. Um, I don't know, it just feels like a waste of a perk to me because you can always get around. Because no, there's like no attachment that's necess like super necessary for a gun. Like for three round burst, I feel that like um, red dots and holographics are like pretty significant for them. But um, seven kill streak with some akimbos, that's what's up. Look at that hiding bitch. But um. I always feel like every gun they only really needs one attachment to make it good, or it doesn't really have to have it, but it only needs like one to make it decent. Two is just kind of overkill to me, and um, I'm, like, I'm just used to like, when you have a silencer, you give up not having your red dot and stuff, so I don't even try out blank, I'm just used to using iron sights with silencers, and uh, stuff like that. So. When I use akimbo, because I used to love using akimbo's a lot, just to mess around with. That's how I got. That's how I got most of the headshots from my. See how these have like red tiger and like, um, pretty much all my SMGs have red tiger or blue tiger. Like I think the mini using the vector of blue tiger because they suck. 
but all the decent SMGs like this, MP5K and UMP45, all, um, oh my god, I always get so close to the mic, I'm sorry. Um, they all, that's camping. What that guy was doing right there, that is the definition of camping. Just hiding in a corner and looking in one direction, waiting for someone to cross that your line of sight. But, um, <clears throat> what text message? Hold on. Uh... Yeah, okay, so like my Kimbo classes, Akimbo classes that I use would be like any SMG Akimbo, and then uh, Sleight of Hand. I love Sleight of Hand on these Akimbo classes because you're already going to be up in their face, you're going to be deep in their spawn pretty much because you only have like 20 feet of range on these guns, so <clears throat> you're going to be pretty deep in there no matter where you're at. I mean, no matter um, what map it is, you're going to be pretty deep in their spawn if you want to be successful with these kills and you'll see that I'm always rushing I'm always trying to get close to them because these things are basically like AA-12s when you're up close to someone you just don't lose with them camper and then um what else uh I so, okay so definitely slay the hand the Kimbo whatever I my favorite Kimbos are either like P90s like this just cause the big clip or MP5. MP5s just feel too strong. UMPs are cool, but that sound really bothers me that they make. I don't. I don't know if anyone other, anyone else like, doesn't like that. But that sound bothers me. And the FAMAS used to bother me for the longest time. They just sound like they're made out of like plastic and cardboard, and it, I don't know. I just can't deal with that. But um, that guy's got turned on. Um, yeah. So those middle perk. Use lightweight, so slide a hand lightweight, and then steady aim. And if not lightweight, because lightweight, um, for a map like this, lightweight, you don't really need it, because you're just, you can always get into it. God damn it, I always move closer to the mic. Um, lightweight, uh, it's only better on like slightly bigger maps, like maybe terminal. Terminal, I'd probably use lightweight. But stopping power and lightweight do the same thing. They make it, I don't know, it's like, Stopping power, the bullets that are spraying around are stronger, so <clears throat> it's like you'll you'll kill them faster at any range, you'll kill them faster, but lightweight is like is better for I don't even know, because you pull your gun out faster and I don't feel like stopping power is super necessary on these things. Unless you're really far away from someone and they're, you're only hitting them out of like one out of five bullets that you're spraying, then like stopping power is really not that necessary. So the lightweight's good with the well lightweight pro basically just so you can run around and you just whip them out super fast because lightweight pro makes you pull up your gun faster after sprinting. Like see, I'm sprinting and then my guns come up right here like. Yeah, that would be like cut in half the amount of time that it took me to pull my gun. And it doesn't seem like much, but think about all the times that you like run around a corner and someone's already standing there waiting, and then they shoot you. And you're pulling your gun up, getting ready to shoot them, but you die before. You can pull your gun up, so. That's what lightweight helps out in situations like that. It just makes this class like more rushy, more aggressive. Um. Oh yeah, right there I was just looking around the bridge making sure no one's coming. And I knew they were about to take B, so I was just waiting so I could defend B. Which just didn't work too well. But um I had used danger close on this class because I was uh, was recommended. And um Actually it worked out. I think the person who made this intended for it to be like just a dumb perk. They didn't tell me what equipment to use, I just put a Semtex on since I'm using the Akimbos and I have like no range. My Semtex will be my my medium range weapon, I guess. And um, that was cool. Um, these things get dirty up close. You just you're just mobbing around. Uh, that was like the biggest fail of the century right there. But uh, fuck that guy anyways. Let's go get his ass blown up, bitch. Um. What else? Oh yeah, I didn't really talk to you about the headshot things. Um, Akimbo's, I kind of brought it up, but the Akimbo's, they, it seems like they get headshots like two times as easy. So when you're playing with, the, if you play with Akimbo's, if you want to get like your your camos up on like your SMGs, then um, 
But Kimbo is definitely the way to go. And that guy just got stuck like a little bitch. Yeah, so. This game, I get a pretty good score at the end. We still lose because my team was a bunch of scrubs. I was trying to defend B for a long time, but I kind of gave up on that since I knew my team wouldn't be able to hold it. But 52-21 with a fun class, that's what's up.